Howdy! PSD and its shows are mostly supported by you guys. If you like what we do, make sure to rate the podcast wherever you listen, subscribe if you haven't, share your favorite moments and episode with friends, and check out our Patreon if you want to give us some financial support, as well as getting a little something in return. All of that stuff helps like you wouldn't believe. Thanks so much for everything, and we hope you enjoyed this episode of Please Stop Talking. Have you guys heard like a modern Simpsons clip where Marge talks? Holy shit, brother. Give it a rest. <laughs> you guys know what Marge Simpson sounds like, right? Hang on. Yeah. She's like, home oh, boy. I, 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 think, I think that it hits home a lot more if you watched Simpsons uh, before. All right, Julian, I'll take you not having watched Simpsons, but I won't take you don't know what Marge Simpson sounds like. <laughs> it's different whenever you have an extreme familiarity with Marge's voice as opposed to cultural osmosis while growing up. Here. And modern I, Marge sounds like you're trying to start a movement. I was going to say, I thought modern modern Marge sounds like a Netflix look, special. Look, look, look in the chat real quick. That's what she sounds like now. Oh, Homer, we just got invited to a wedding in the Pocono. Oh, she oh sounds my God, whoa. Fuck. Jesus whoa. Christ. In the Poconos. Yeah. You know, yeah, I take everything back. That is rough. I don't know. She still looks young in the cartoon, though. I tried to watch The Simpsons once or twice, but every time I shut it off because I really can't stand that little girl that is so annoying and never shuts up, and I hate her voice. Lisa Simpson? No, Maggie. I hate that fucking baby. I'm gonna fucking break her <laughs> I skull I hate Lisa. In. She's so progressive! <laughs> if you were in a room with Maggie Simpson, would you touch her soft spot? Would you just fucking... <laughs> The push fuck? the soft spot. It's, it's an off button. No, it's a reset button. I, I don't think she's coming. I think that's a permanent Ooh. off button. This was no, a no. It depends. This was a debate I was having with my friends. Right? Is it morally? Is, is it morally correct to? I, uh, <laughs> what? This cannot be the start. And then, and then my second question is: Could you imagine your? <laughs> 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 I'm not, Welcome to the no, podcast. No, 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 no this is actually not. This is this is where I say no. <laughs> oh, you cannot boo. talk about <laughs> and put it on the internet. That is not something we are doing. First I of all, that's not, not what's happening. That. You are extrapolating and being extremely no, reductive. No, not. This is uh, it's not just reductive. That is what sick. Just, it's what sick. Yeah, you that's sick what you're, that's, that's what you're viewing this as. <laughs> okay, that's so disgusting. your answer, Corbin, is that no, it's not morally correct. Pregnant. No, I think it's fine. <laughs> Is this how we're starting? No, no it's not. I, yeah, I don't think is, so. Yeah, that this is so much work. better than the sexy pregnant woman conversation. We're not talking. No, that is not what. That is not. You think that's why we're not at it? You think that it's because we're talking about like. You know, they're people. Yeah, I know. That's not why. They have that's a, not they, why. They have a glow to them. Excuse me. <laughs> Whenever I turn on Eagle Vision when I'm walking through a crowded public, all of the, all of the women who are nine months impregnated grow uh, glow golden. <laughs> <laughs> like in fucking, are you talking about like in fucking Assassin's Creed? Yeah, they're like they're, they're like the quest givers. <laughs> Ezio, quick! I'm nine months pregnant. <laughs> We don't have much time. And he just he assassinates her immediately. Uh, yeah, with his penis. Whoa! <laughs> Why? What is it with you and having sex with pregnant women today? You know they're people. <laughs> <laughs> Do they not yeah. deserve sex? Is that what Welcome you're saying? To the, Welcome yeah, to the podcast, all they pregnant around, women. They, they go around carrying a person inside their stomachs for nine months, and then they have to, like, they either have to get their fucking stomachs cut open to give birth to a being, um, or they need to have uh, permanently damaged what? pastrami mud flaps for the rest of their lives. <laughs> God forbid, God forbid, we throw them a bone. Do, think, like, <laughs> do something nice do for a giving birth is. is you think they they uh, like? I, open I, mean, the I don't. I don't think it's it fun. Out? I'll tell you that much. I don't yeah, think. That, no, I don't no, think no, they're no, excited no. for it. I, no, no, it's what he I, said. I, I look at pregnancy and I go, um, hard pass. Billy, I don't think there's a single woman who's ever thought about like. That's not what I mean. Launching it's a baby out they pussy and being like, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, they say Wahoo happens. like the Mario. I beg to differ. I'm I'm sure somebody on Reddit is going crazy right now. <laughs> well, yeah. Wait, isn't that somebody you? Because know you, you want to eat your own placenta? What was that about? Excuse me. <laughs> Mine? Yeah, Bill. Billy my had placenta? like Billy had like a moment where he was like, "I kind of wish I could get pregnant so I could eat my own placenta." That always looks fun. That's true, dude. It's what? not about what? looking Am fun. I it's dying? about skincare. <laughs> no, is there a gas leak for what your the skin? <laughs> no, placenta Billy is good for your that. skin. Billy yeah, said no, I that. Yeah, no, I definitely said that. Yeah, no, I absolutely said that. I I, I always say this. I'm always out here saying, I mm, I wish I had a tasty placenta drink in my mouth. Billy the placenta guy. You know, they actually sell... No, they actually sell placenta drinks, though. Fuck you. No. No, seriously. Seriously. Placenta drink is real. Is, are, are, are we sponsored by them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I can tell you this. It ships in three to five business days and arrives cold. <laughs> Where do we go from here? I don't know. Fucking anywhere <laughs> else, please. <laughs> What's that, like, giant fake Donald Trump tweet that's like, boy pussy gets boy pregnant, and then it's like... Gets boy giant... preggers, <laughs> yeah. and has to and then... get a boy abortion. Many such ends... cases. <laughs> Just ends with many such cases. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the worst episode. It's a fitting send-off. I don't understand yeah. why people, like, eat their own body parts. And it, it, I know people are like, it's uh, good, good uh, nutritious value. Eat a fucking Flintstone gummy. <laughs> you're, uh, you're so fucking right for that. It's, and, and no, it's about it's a uh, it's about not contributing to food waste. Okay, they're trying to save the world. It's brave. <laughs> In Japan, they do actually sell like placenta drinks, though. They're so popular that they're in the popular hit video game Persona Five in vending machines in the game. I remember reading the description of that and thinking that I was fucking insane. It, it's apparently real, though. Like, apparently, Is that not like, cannibalism? Kinda? No. I mean... I mean, I guess, yeah. It, it's acceptable. Is like, it? it's so acceptable. I mean, well, for... In, in, in Japan, Japan, yes. You can just get it in a vending machine. People who uh, live in Japan uh, are listening to this and knowing that we are incredibly wrong, about to fucking blow a hole in their monitor. I'm just curious. Where do they find the placentas? Billy, do you know that they actually sell it in Japan, or did you just see it in a video game? No, I no, 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 no. <laughs> this is no, this is actually true. Placenta drink is what, true. A source. You didn't answer the question. Did you just see it in a video game and go that real? I mean, it's a it's a real thing. Like the placenta drink. You are not answering the question. I I saw it on the fucking YouTube video where they were showing off oh, like a bunch okay, of different. Oh, okay, so it's like, all right. That so okay, high quality. I really thought it was a video game god. and YouTube video. Fuck you. I swear to God, it's a real thing. Hey, Billy, I believe you. Hey, Billy, real quick. What's that whiskey they sell in Japan? It's Nika. Oh, oh. so we can't talk about fucking... <laughs> but yeah. Like, <laughs> <just bro. laughs> wow, none of that is making it in. <laughs> wow. Wait, okay. I'm not crazy. Placenta drink vending machine. Am I crazy? Oh, man. Oh, no. No! I think I got this information from Persona. I'm going to die. This I think so you're funny. right. <laughs> I think you guys are right. I don't think it's real. I think it's just from Persona. Hey, Billy, I have a Japanese friend who's online right now, and I can ask them real quick. We can get definitive info on this if you want. Hear it straight from the source. I know that there is I'm, actually... I'm, uh, all right, Billy, like, I'm, Billy, I'm hitting this person up right now. and be like, hey, do you have placenta drinks in Japan? Placenta water. Dude, I... It, it's... I swear, I swear, hey, dude. Comma, do you guys have crazy. placenta drinks in Japan? It's a, it's a, it's a collagen and placenta drink. I swear, I'm not crazy. Uh, we're gonna find They're out. In San Jose, California. Apparently, anybody in California right now want to get us a, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, let's do a placenta. big, let's do a big PST fan meetup Houston? in California. Oh fuck. Cor Corbin, are we going to have to take a road trip? Yeah, you guys should road trip to the Morocco factory to get some placenta <laughs> drink. What the fuck? Is it like, is it like a brewery? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I just, I, I'm up. reading what's inside. Highest quality placenta extract. Swallow bird nest. Fermented plant extract. Hyaluronic acid collagen peptide red wine extract. Dude, what the fuck is this? Why is there a bird nest in this drink? What? <laughs> what the fuck they, is this? They, they grind up straw and put it in... <laughs> what? What the fuck is oh. this? 
Oh, why have we? Why have we? Billy, spent- that's like a. That's that's just like a. I, I don't think that has placenta in it. It said no. It says placenta en- extract. There is placenta oh, extract right cool. there. Yeah. Placenta X. <laughs> placenta X. This ain't your mommy's placenta. I mean, it's so <laughs> uh, actually, maybe. Oh my like, god. We don't. Know. Oh my god, Billy. The levels. Billy, I have terrible news. Y- oh, you are right. They do. They do have placenta it. drinks. Are I'm they, not crazy. Are they I common? swear to God. Just because I swear. They they have it in fucking vending machines. I'm not crazy. Julian, can you ask if they have it in vending machines? Yeah, I, I, I will ask. Everything is in vending machines in Japan. Like, you can get fucking Billy's anything. about to go on a fucking Chuck McGill rant. About- no, I'm about to go on Expedia.com and get a fucking ticket to go get some placentages. <laughs> You don't need to go get. You don't need to get all. Go through all that. You could just get boy preggers. They say they don't know about <laughs> vending machines. They're not sure about that part. I want to know so bad now. I need to know. I know we have viewers in Japan, so, or, so like or listeners rather. <laughs> they only see them at certain stores. If there's a if there's a listener in Japan that wants to give us their placenta, if drink, there is a please, viewer in Japan I'll, who wants to get boy preggers, I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> It's natural, Corvin. It's a part of it's life. It's natural. You had you you're, you you were in placenta at one point in your life. Misogyny is alive and well, listeners. Here it is. <laughs> Billy, at first it sounded like you were asking one on. of the viewers to send in their placenta. No. No, we are. We are. Wait, we're not. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if they want to, we can do a big raffle. We can mix them all in a big bowl. <laughs> And we should, like, we, like, we gotta oh, do like we, we gotta do like like a, like a game. We 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 all have like a swig of eggnog, but one of we, them has placenta in it. Who is uh, gonna be? Uh, I wonder which one is it is. Is it the one that's suspiciously red? <laughs> Nah, that's why it's why it's eggnog. Didn't they do that in uh, that one movie? What's it called again? The one movie with the lady on drugs, and then they go to a Sweden. Is it when the one that's suspiciously red and smells like boy pussy? Hmm, let's find out. <laughs> the suspiciously placenta shaped drink. <laughs> no, everybody tuned out. <laughs> yeah, I fucking tuned out. Apparently, the placenta drinks are quite expensive. Yeah, they are. Well, like, I, uh, oh, now you're an expert. Yeah. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I they fucking are, they googled are. that shit. It's like 120 dollars. Holy oh my shit, God. placenta. Yeah, dude. Small price to pay for a placenta drink. But. Well, pay, luckily, PayPal's letting me finance it for four interest-free months, uh, $30 <laughs> a month. <laughs> you can Are you serious? You can, you can finance placenta drinks? Uh, yeah. Oh, my How God. Else you, can, you, you, pay, you pay it up front? I pay a premium for that <laughs> shit. wonder how much of that is just, like, shipping and, lo- or like... <laughs> trade law that you're paying for how do you is what is the trade law on fucking placenta man what's the trade rate what's the what's the conversion on that can you send a placenta across country if you put it in a drink i think within europe you're all good because europe has these like what do you call it like sanctionless borders for for ship being delivered my question my question is just how do you harvest it like, what's the process of harvesting placenta for drinking? You get boy preggers. And, oh. and then you get a big ladle and you go yum yum. They're going to steal my money and take my placenta. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me budget this. My family is dying. Rent 800 bucks. <laughs> Electricity 100. Boy preggers, boy sent a drink. $2,000 plus imports. What am I doing wrong? Somebody tell me. Does nobody have a story? Uh, well, I had a story and it got censored by the PST Thought Police. What was it? You, if I repeat it, you're going to cut it again. That's not I'm... a story. That's you talking <laughs> about babies with fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not repeating what you're saying. <laughs> oh, it's oh, not oh. a story. It is not a story. I did think of one. The story police. So seen a Pazun story. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was a thinking man's joke, by the way. Thinking, You're welcome. Bro, that was a th- that was a thonker. Everybody that in was chat a fucking... just fucking went, whoa. Yeah. Uh, you know how I work in leasing? Uh, so I, I lease apartments. Yeah, I had what? Yeah, it's, uh, you're a reprehensible human being. Go on. Oh yeah, no, I, I I evict single mothers. Yeah. How pregnant are they? <laughs> <laughs> 
how long have they been pregnant? Well, okay. It's, Please, God, it, tell it's, me it's nine months. Or... It, it is funny you should say that. Oh, my... are, all, are, are any of them boys? Can we get a boy placenta? Because I've heard there's so many cases. Boy Santa, dummy. Uh, blo- uh, boy Santa, sorry. I hear, I hear, I hear there are many sorry. such cases. <laughs> boy mother can't pay her boy rent and has to get boy victed. <laughs> <laughs> worst step. Hey guys, worst episode yet? <laughs> wow. Man, remember? If you think so, don't forget to smash that dislike button. It really did, helps us out. How long ago did you title a podcast that says like a weird I'm sorry or some shit? That that must have been so fucking tame. No, can the title just be that entire Donald Trump copy pasta? <laughs> can that be the title? No. And then Dash, please long. stop talking. No, that's too long. The the algorithm. Now you just title it Boy Preggers. <laughs> that's I'm not calling it that either. Also, <laughs> apparently you've never talked about the Bubba Gump story. Okay, because I'll, I'll tell okay. that story instead because this one was a complete lie. I was going to tell a really long story and it was going to end with a pregnant woman asking me the moral implications of fucking a night. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh my God. You should have committed, I man. Won. I would have won. Dude, this might become the most censored episode of the uh, podcast. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. This is the worst. Oh, God. I'm so pissed off that you did not just commit to the boy preggers bit. That would have been so good. What do you mean by hookah and hate crime? Oh, what does that holy mean? Holy shit, that night was insane. <laughs> that is such a good question. Two of my friends got engaged. Congratulations, whatever. Uh, Congratulations yeah, to yeah, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Boy preggers, whatever. After the whole getting on a knee and engaging part they're like all right we're gonna go fucking celebrate and party and we're in austin and uh they go we could either go to sixth street which is the regular bar area yeah not fun or they're like we know this one weird location that has three bars that are all connected to each other one of them is like just a fucking weird bar that attracts crazy people's the other one's a strip club, and the other one's a hookah bar. Oh, I love a hookah bar. And so, we're like, well, we'll go to that, because those are, you know, we're probably not going to go to the strip club, but those two other bars sound fun, because one of them's just weird and crazy, the other one's like, you know, dancing, all that shit. So we go to the first bar, which is a weird and crazy bar, and, um... You gotta describe, you just keep calling it weird and crazy, we don't know what that yeah. means. Fucked up and crazy. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to describe it, that's just like, I'm, I'm, that's just what the bar is, like, known as. I don't know what it's fucking called. But they're like, yeah, this is just a, a weird and crazy bar. Oh, <laughs> Joe's fucked up and crazy bar. So I, I I, did not plan on getting very drunk, but we walk into this bar and um, at first it kind of looks pretty normal. Like it's it's a pretty bright bar in the sense of like a lot of clashing colors and patterns and whatnot. But the more you look at little things, there's just like really weird shit. They're like like from the ceiling, you you don't really notice it, but they have hanging lights. But if you look at the shape of the light bulbs, they're angels fucking. What? <laughs> okay. What? Rad. There's a giant picture on the back wall of um what's that one marble sculpture with the guy with the tiny penis? I think it's David. Oh, oh the, the, the vaporware David, guy. Yeah. The mannequin piss. <laughs> No, that's a that's a baby. That's I a, think it's a statue of David. We, we get it. We know the we know we know the one. All right, it's a, literally a picture called David. Of that statue. Just, but over the penis yes. is Santa Claus. Okay. <laughs> if you walk up to that painting and you lift up the Santa Claus, there's a giant camera and it projects your face onto the other half of the wall with the projector Whoa. so everyone knows you're looking at a penis that's awesome that's fucking awesome that's really funny it also has a bunch of hidden rooms that are all giant fire hazards dude what because the they fuck? don't have any labeled exits and there's like just random there's like you pool on a picture frame that's not labeled as a room you have to just this is the most austin place i've ever heard of you just have to either see someone who has gone in this room or know someone who's been there before, but you open like this picture frame and you're in a giant ball pit. This is a hookah bar? No, this is not the hookah no, bar. No, this, this is, is weird not. Bar. Oh, I th- oh, sorry. I thought it was a hookah bar. The hookah bar, and I was no, like, no, the hookah bar is, is next door. Okay, because for I, I was like, man, that's a 
fire hazard. Imagine uh, having like a bunch of lit coals. I mean, and, it, and I mean, the hookah like, bar is next door. It's still a fire hazard. Oh no! There. Mm, well, no, because it's well ventilated. If it's a separate spot, I, I mean, there is no labeled I mean, exit. No, 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 no. It, it, one hundred percent fire hazard for so many multiple <laughs> reasons. Oh god! Like the, it, that shit is. 100% not up to code. We're, talk we're talking to the construction guy here. I trust his word on this. <laughs> no, oh, no. yeah. The second I fucking walk in there, I go, this room is illegal. <laughs> like, uh, this does not pass code, I say, ready to have a fun night. I love the sentence, this room is illegal. <laughs> do you think torn down. Do you think the way that you walk into that room is the same way that, like, someone who validates, like, OSHA violations would walk into a room. Do you think it's like the same kind of mindset? Where uh, they'll walk in and they're just here to have a good time, but they'll notice like hammers on the wall or something and be like, hmm, if I was on duty, <laughs> I would I, no, I'd be tearing this place apart. It's 100% all I see now. That's very funny. I, I, ha I have had to take like actual OSHA classes to where you get certified to like. Oh my God, this guy is OSHA certified. Try and find those things. And it's. It's all I can see now. I see so many OSHA violations every day, and it drives me insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing most of them. Yeah, that time that you stacked two ladders on top of each other to change a light bulb had me raising some eyebrows, but, you know, the trust you, you have more the, than... You have the you highest more. ceiling of all time. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I, I realize that this bar is too strange for me to be this sober. I, I started drinking a little bit more. I really had only planned to have, like, one or two beers because I had to drive back early in the morning. So, I partially leave the group to go back to the bar to get a, a mixed drink, like something stronger. And um, as I walk into the bar, I, I see this guy break dancing. And I'm like, yo, this <laughs> no is No fucking, fucking sick. way. Also, keep in mind, this is not like a dance floor. This is like, there are tables <laughs> and <laughs> a bar, and this dude is just break dancing. And I'm like, well, I have to fucking watch this shit. So, get my drink, and I'm just watching this guy break dance, and then... This dude comes up and he's, uh, first of all, the guy breakdancing is dressed very similar to that one picture of Dwayne The Rock Johnson where he's got like the black turtleneck. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Classic. From his WWE days. I'm already like, this is pretty fucking funny. The Rock is breakdancing. <laughs> Some dude walks up and he's dressed like straight out the Victorian era, but not like a costume. You can tell like these are real clothes. But he's, this is what he wears every day. He's dressed up like he's living in like England in the 1800s. <laughs> but he's like an aristocrat. He starts breakdancing. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> this is fucking sick. Oh, I shit you not. If my friends did not come to join me in watching this, no one would have believed the next part. <laughs> so the guy dressed as The Rock stands up and backs off. Because this Victorian man who's breakdancing is clearly winning. He's <laughs> winning! Was there, like, an unofficial battle just happening? No, I, sometimes you just know. You, you, you know when you're being <laughs> showed up. Yeah, okay. Okay, here, here's here's another weird thing. I, I've i been to clubs where dance circles form, and everyone's always yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's dead fucking silent. Like, there's <laughs> music playing. But no one's saying anything. They're just watching. So you got to sit your white ass down and listen. I I, I shit you not. Adolf Hitler. Stop. Okay. Okay. Stop. Okay. Stop. You're okay. fucking I, I, kidding. You're run no. into the break There's dancing no circle fucking and way. starts no. busting fucking, it down. No. I am You're not lying. fucking shitting you. Fuck You're you. fucking lying. There were there were no swastikas on it, but it was a man in a military uniform with the with the mustache. <laughs> Did he? Did he have the hair? Lying. I don't know what Hitler's hair looks like. Like yes, you it, do. It, it looks like uh, it looks like it, James it looks, Summerton. You're his big. You're his biggest fan. Don't lie. No, he he did not have the hair. He, he didn't have the hair. Then how'd you know that was Adolf Hitler? The mustache. I, the mustache is. I, I guess it could have been Charlie Chapman. It could have also been <laughs> oh, Jonah been. Jameson. Charlie Chaplin in a military uniform. That that's that was his role in The Dictator. Oh, he was playing the role of Charlie Chaplin in The Dictator. It we wasn't are, Hitler, guys. There, there, was, there, was, there was no swastikas. <laughs> I mean, if there's no swastikas, no hair, just the mustache, that might have actually been Charlie Chaplin, TBH. But the military uniform, bro. But The Dictator. I, I truthfully don't remember the details of the uniform. He's probably listening right now. Can you tell us if you were Hitler or Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. Let us Here, know in the comments you, down below. Are you Hitler? You I, I yes can, or no? I can tell you, you this. He was, he was walking a fine line. Like, look, military hat, <laughs> military uniform, mustache, no swastikas. I think it all checks out, boys. 
This boy would be like, I must ask you a question. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so Hitler broke it down sexual. So style. Hitler walks into a bar. Well, once Hitler started breakdancing, we kind of looked at each other and said, we're probably not in the right bar. <laughs> what? So I, 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 I don't know about you, Billy. I'm not about to break it down with Hitler. If I, if I was <laughs> there, I'd be like, I am in the right place at the right time right now. Not because of Hitler, but because of the uh, shenanigans. I mean, if I saw Hitler at a bar, I would go up to him and be like, bro, you would love Brickleberry. Hear me out. It's kind of like family. <laughs> I'm, we, we, we went to the hookah bar after that, and I know one more thing fuck, really fucked up happened, but for the life of me, I can't really remember it, only because one of my friends was like, you are not drunk enough. You need to get fucked up. And we got bottle service, and I got wasted what an interesting way to close this off and then hitler broke dance i don't remember what happened next <laughs> everything after that was isn't just... that what happens in inglorious bastards i swear to god <laughs> not not exactly uh you you could definitely say that he busted down in inglorious bastards i just remember that bit in inglorious bastards where they talk about star wars i just remember all the scalping yeah Julian, you've seen Inglorious Bastards, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's like fucking, he's talking to Hitler, Brad Pitt's talking to Hitler, and Brad Pitt's like, dude, I'm losing my mind. How many Star Wars movies out there are there? And Hitler says, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wow. Sorry, I got I'm glad there. you're leaving, man. <laughs> <laughs> also, you 100% did not ever talk about Bubba Gump really apparently not i think it was actually during football you just told that story but now i can barely remember it i just remember you pelting women with uh, pregnant women with shrimp or something i mean i was pelting mm -hmm. them with something else <laughs> billy why did you have to say pregnant women again it's just on the mind <laughs> we, we we finally got off that topic and started talking about charlie chapman I'm going to start pelting you with rocks. Like you did for those boy girls. Boy girls. Whoa. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> that sounds oh, like Julian. an egg crime to me. <laughs> That's not right. Let he who is without boy pregnant cast the first stone. <laughs> cast the first placenta. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Awful. Awful. <laughs> Hey, I, 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 can, I can make another Hitler pun if that's the stuff you prefer. Uh, go for it. Um, give, it okay. give us everything you got. Uh, Adolf Hitler walks into a bar, and then the <laughs> yeah. bartender says, Hey, I love Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I really thought you were going to say Adolf right. Hitler walks into a bar. He starts break dancing. No one will believe Corbin. <laughs> 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 I believe you. I just think he wasn't Adolf Hitler. Well, the other weird thing is, why were people dressed up in costumes? This was not Halloween. Why don't you? Why didn't you ask? Were you scared that we're gonna eat you? I was and nervous. become suspiciously Corbin sized. You could have just asked Hitler, like, why are you Hitler? Someone should have tried that. I'm kind of losing my mind because this is like a recurring joke in Archer of like whenever they flash back to Archer's childhood, it it's almost always Halloween and he's always dressed dressed like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> and then when the flashback ends, somebody oh, always yeah, says, Why was he dressed that. like Hitler? <laughs> I have a different thing that I always flash back to with this. I have a, there's an old obscure British sitcom called Bottom that my dad would always make. Uh, what he really likes, and it's uh, very questionable in terms of social anything at times. But one of the funniest jokes it continually, repeatedly did is that one of the main characters, his full name is called Edward Hitler, and anytime some, anytime oh he, said, he told some other full name, they would chuckle and be like, "Ah, oh, that's." Funny. Any relation? And you'd just be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I do think it was Charlie Chapman. That's what I'm saying. Because that why makes sense keep, why the other guy keep, was dressed okay. up like he was from the Victorian era. Oh he was Charlie Chapman too. He just you didn't keep commit saying to the bit. Chapman. I don't fucking know his name. Chaplin? Chaplin. Chaplin. I've never heard him say it. <laughs> He was in the silent era. That's good. Nice, That's good. Nice. Nice. That's good. Film buffs are clapping uh, right now. I, I like jokes. I like jokes. Oh, by before we get into Patreon questions, we should probably we should probably mention uh, that Ed, you're you are not coming back. Oh, I you have the gone floor forever. Now. Yeah. PSD 2.0 not coming back. Yeah, this is it. Real. PS 
PST 2.0, one of the when I was given the terms and conditions that we have to sign annually that's, to be a host. That's not. Uh, that one, is not real. One of them was a distinct lack of being funny. So I was like, well, I can't be on this anymore because I'm hilarious. That's why 50% of this episode will probably not air is because I was <laughs> on it. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, And yeah. This was it. This is the end of the... Uh, the Ed era. This is the end of the Punk Duck Makes It Extremely Hard for Billy to Land Sponsors era of Please Stop Talking. <laughs> oh my god, you're making it sound like I'm actually forcing you out. Oh no, you're not. There's, you're no, not, you're there's not. no bad no, blood. I I, I, there's no, 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 there no, no, no there one isn't. be fucking weird about it. I mean, it's just because you want to focus on your own stuff. Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, Patreon questions. He's going to explain how Patreon questions oh, work. Oh, Patreon questions. You give money and we fucking answer your question if we feel like it. And yeah, most of the time like we don't today. feel like it. Then, yeah, into know. the podcast. <laughs> End the podcast. End right it right now. here. Okay, fine. Uh, let's, see. Uh, let's see. HL Long Girl asks, is it morally acceptable to fuck a... <laughs> the term? <laughs> Well, Ed, this one's for you. <laughs> Give us your answer. Oh, fuck. You know, scientists say that Adolf Hitler was actually born with a penis-shaped penis skull. A penis and that's, the so <laughs> that's the source of his racism. That's why he was so mad all the time. <laughs> Adolf Hitler asks, who's that white boy sitting across the bar who keeps eyeing me? I like his vibe. <laughs> <laughs> me what was that fucking post that's like me and my girlfriend like your vibe bitch yeah. boy wanna come fuck <laughs> I go to Kevin Spacey's house to get an autograph I leave with a penis shaped skull <laughs> we should read these questions we by the way guys what are we doing <laughs> well we read two already what are you talking about oh that's right <laughs> dummy you little dummy, come on. All right, let's see. Remember, remember when Kanye was going to name an album Yitler and that leaked and we, we were all like, no way, Is that that's real? not real. Yeah, it's not, that We real? all thought that wasn't real, but then he, you know, then then he went through his newest arc. He was actually going to call it Yitler? Yes, he ended up I calling thought, it Yandi or some a, shit. I thought that was a meme. I didn't think it was I I, I, I I might be spreading misinformation, but honestly, I don't care. It's funny. <laughs> and also, I don't care. It's Kanye West. You can yeah, it's Kanye it West. Like this is the um, who, whose reputation am I damaging at this point? And, and also, whatever shit you make up about Kanye West is probably not going to end up being stranger than what is real. Right? Exactly. It's honestly, like, that's what true. harm am I doing to this guy right remember now? Remember when he was going to run for president and he revealed his campaign logo and it was just a big fucking swastika? Like, oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's sick. Was that real too? Yes, that yes. one's real. I keep seeing shit and I'm like, oh, that's a mean. There's no way. And then I learned that it's real and. I I'm like, man, all right. That's Kanye Wake West. Up, Mr. West. Check the <laughs> analytics of the PST YouTube channel. Biggest subscriber past 90 days, Kanye West. <laughs> I mean, but he made Disney World. <laughs> what? I, no, it, that it's is not true. Disney World, it's Yisney World. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> Fuck you. Funny. Hey, we should read some questions. We should read. Yeah, I was going to say, fucking hell. We could do diarrhea note, I guess. <laughs> to say we should do diarrhea note diarrhea note all right you go you go <laughs> okay oh jesus okay adolf hitler asks a book no. falls from the sky in front of no, you no it's you adam see wittrich adam wittrich oh sorry Wittrich. slip of the tongue a book falls from the sky in front of you you see oh, i thought you were just gonna say again and it was just gonna be adolf hitler again <sighs> would have been funny it would have been yeah you should make a joke next time third time trying to read this <laughs> A book okay. falls from the sky in front of you. You see on the cover it says diarrhea note. You write someone's name in it and find they violently shit immediately. <laughs> How do you use this power to better your own life or mankind in general? I open it up. I type Ed, 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 Ed. <laughs> ah, ah, ah! Oh, no, Ed. <laughs> How violent is it? Like, is it like dehydration, like death? Diarrhea, uh, presumably, the like, more times you write down the name, the more it increases in severity. It, in it increases in like velocity, dehydrate. Yeah, 
So, I mean, you, it, it stacks is, like is, is what I'm imagining. It's like it's like a debuff that stacks. I like to. I like that. I like that it stacks. Who's who's a stank bitch? We all hate. I, I fucking uh, Adolf Hitler personally. I I would I would write Charlie Chapman impersonator <laughs> just to see if I'm right. <laughs> you go, the, with you, go, go back, back to, to the, the bar. Yeah. yeah. Wait till he starts breaking. I sit there and wait. They said this man's been sitting here every day with a black book that just says diarrhea note on the outside. He's been waiting for something, but we don't know what. The one day they see me write in my notebook and leave in disgust. Yeah. What if he just doesn't shit his pants? Then you're like, I still leave in what disgust. Do you do then? Yeah, I, I, I mean, feel like you would leave in disgust anyways. Presumably, you need to like, once you get this, your first instinct is going to be like, okay, I need to test this to make sure that it works, right? Like, who do you test this I mean, on? am I... Okay. Do you write am yourself? I, am I... Yeah, am I constipated? <laughs> oh, you can become <laughs> such a good doctor! <laughs> How backed up am I? <laughs> I would probably, like, test it on myself, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, that's I, what I I'm guess. saying. How, how backed up I mean, am it's, I? It's pretty low stakes, so... Like, Wait, do you get, like, a little shit demon, like, in <laughs> Death Note? You know how in Death Note... <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> You have to make one person poop a day. Yeah, you know, like in Death Note, you got like, uh, <laughs> oh, it's called no. You got to poop demon. Like what do you mean, poop demon? Who, Billy, who, who, Billy, who, it was right there. You get a shitty gummy. <laughs> <laughs> you get a shitty gummy, and does he explain the rules to you? I, like, like in, like in Death Note, is he like, uh, if you write, if a I name, write down his name, does he shit himself? No, no, that's not how it works that's in not Death how it Note. Works, idiot. He, you can't kill. Damn it. He dropped, you can't kill he a dropped the poop gummy. note. He dropped the poop note because he was bored. <laughs> yeah, he dropped the poop note because he was bored. So now you have a shitty gummy. Well, I mean, the question is like, it does, uh, if you make enough people shit themselves, do I the really, forces like get like a oh, savant to come after you? Do you have an really L? Want, I really want Willem Dafoe to turn to the light. Poop, I was gonna say. Gummy, and he goes like, you know, whoever uses the poop note, uh, they don't, uh, they don't poop themselves naturally. I will be the one to write your name in the poop note when your time is up. <laughs> <laughs> I will be the one to, dude. Holy shit! Uh, I, I rebranded it to poop note because I thought that's funny. This is actually poop the note. worst episode we've ever recorded. <laughs> one of the worst you're right i like i like poop note though poop note is a fun time yeah this is the highlight we need to better the world that's the question who would we kill oh i, I mean was, i was what? thinking i'd become a street performer I'd, <laughs> I'd gather a crowd and for my first trick i'd ask for someone's you name and make them yourself. shit themselves in public <laughs> I really like the idea of like just finding a YouTuber you really think needs to stop uploading and then try and like trying to train them <laughs> like a dog. Time, every time they every upload, time you write their name down. Them. Oh my God, dude. Every time they make a tweet, you write their name down. Just anytime they use their platform, it's like, okay, you're shitting yourself. Oh, I don't like that because then people use it on us. <laughs> Dave, they don't have the poop note. For being the word, they would write PST and literally every member at the same time. <laughs> Hey, Billy, you don't want a group shit. Are you serious? I mean, it depends. Is it like one of those nice toilets with like all the toilets facing each other? <laughs> It's in a circle like, like that it's a fucking bob odenkirk and the guy from american psycho <laughs> staring each other down with the toilets that face each yeah. other just like that <laughs> I, I was gonna say uh, how i would better humanity is i would just have like a charity stream with like incrementally increasing um like <laughs> tears. donation tiers so like fifty dollars i shit myself hundred dollars i shit myself <laughs> Two hundred dollars. I shit myself. Thousand dollars. I shit myself. And I've got great Man. news. <laughs> you do not need the you poop could, note for that. You can, have I ever talked no, about that I, one I time do. I Are took laxatives crazy? and went to see Avatar two? No, I got have a sharded. I have a sharded. Yeah, no, I I took it. I'm gonna be honest. That was one of the weakest moments of my life. I I, I was I, it was like after my surgery and I was um, backed up. So they gave me some. Uh, they they we got some uh, laxatives. Hey, Ed, weren't you the one who told me that you thought for the longest time that being bricked up means you need to shit? <laughs> yes. Let's move on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, bricked up doesn't mean that? No, it means you're hard. No, fuck you. You're, you're no. Wrecked. Are you serious? No. Oh no way. I thought bricked up was because you're going to shit a brick. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I swear. What the fuck? No. Oh, I'm, okay, well, all 
I'm you have saying a hard is, on. Listen, I just, <laughs> I had I was I was bricked up and bricked out, and I had to I. I <laughs> I took laxatives and then I I was like, oh, Avatar is I, Avatar is at our movie theater. We should go do that. It was like a few a few like minutes after. It was like maybe 15, 30 minutes. I go to Boo and I'm like, let's go do that. Let's go to the let's go see Avatar. And he was like, okay. And I had just taken my uh, laxatives and I uh, went to see one of the longest movies of all time <laughs> while on laxatives. Worked out well, I'm sure. I didn't shit myself, but I. I definitely took, you know, he, he, to be fair, what's his name did say that you need to get up and go pee pee during the movie. James so. Cameron. Yeah. James Cameron was like, you need to go poo poo or pee pee. And I was like, yeah, I did. Does the movie have an intermission built in? No, it doesn't. He just says like, oh, during the movie, just fucking get up and leave and go piss. That's awesome. Billy, I'm also pretty sure bricked out means you're, you're on Zan. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. We got to fucking, you, you fucking, you Anglos need to figure your shit out with That's your, with saying. your bricks. With all these bricks and shit. Anglo-Saxons. What the fuck is going on anymore? I don't uh, fucking know, it's awesome. dude. We were talking about the poop note, and then I talked about going to see Avatar 2 in theaters while on laxatives. Are we doing Are we doing another question? Oh, God. If we can find another good one. Oh, man. Lyric Sagsgard? What Pokemon would you absolutely dick down like a feral beast? <laughs> uh, no we're not. We're not doing that. We are no not doing that. No cop outs or vanilla answers like Lupunny, Gardevoir, Gardevoir, Blaziken. Is there, is there like a is one. there like a nine month? I is was there like a say, nine month pregnancy? Oh my god! Stop! <laughs> Off guard. Oh my god. Is there, is there actually Dick down like a feral animal? There's no way somebody said that. I, I was, I'm how are you surprised? The, these are furries. They absolutely where, said where that is shit. It? Wait, wait, how wait, old ago is, is this, Corbin? Yeah, no, it's right there. It's a uh, lyric scars guard. Yeah. Dick down like a feral beast. No bitch cop outs. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is wow. real. Wow. Well, would you look at that? Y'all really just, <laughs> they, they really just type that down and hit send, huh? Dude, they typed that down sexual style and hit send. <laughs> Not only did they type that down, they went to a separate keyboard to get the emoji out. That's oh, they true. did That's get the true. emoji. They still have the confidence right. to hit send. And they even they even added who they would fuck. Wow. Right there. I'm a fan of Salazzle. <laughs> what is Salazzle? I don't is, fucking know dude. any of these. Oh, isn't I don't, I don't, we don't know fucking, Pokemon. What is it? It's the black and purple one. Oh, I think it is. It it yeah, it looks like a salamander type deal. Yeah. That's a weird pick. Can we put uh Salazzle in the uh in the thumbnail so this person is enticed to click oh on my it. god do not type salazzle on google image <laughs> i think we found out Damn. why they i don't think that they're alone or they're making all this art yeah no I, <laughs> it's this, all by one one dude, this one dude is going crazy drawing salazzle with breasts dude, they've got a very flexible art style huh um <laughs> I was uh, damn dude. I, I, I've decided which one I would dick down like the like a feral beast. Why are we still on this? <laughs> uh, what's the one that's like a fucking turtle and it's also an apple pie or whatever the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you that's, that's just a turtle, bro. Pie? It's just a turtle. No, but it looks no, like a fucking apple pie. No, it's a fucking pie. apple pie. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, right? Like American yeah, pie. Yeah. I, I feel like I would pick that one because I feel like I could I'd be able to see the damage afterwards. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god, Ed! Wait, wait, what oh, was this? My it, it, Appleton. It's a, it's first a, it's we're talking an, about nine month pregnant. <laughs> no, why? Now we're talking about whether or not we can dent the Stop apple. Stop! Why are the nine <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> you did it again. I did it a second time. <laughs> Appleton is like the it's it's this oh. it's a turtle with but it's it's a turtle but it's also an apple pie. One of their uh attacks and I it think, has a is thick mucus. <laughs> Which That's one? what I gave him. The the <laughs> apple? The apple? Uh, yeah. What the fuck? Boy come on gets boy pregnant with boy mucus. <laughs> Oh, it is thick. Mucus. I can't believe you went out and just fucking dropped a hot, stinky bomb. Like I want to see the damage. You're so fucking vile. <laughs> that's 
That's one of the uh, worst actually, things you've yeah, ever said. Yeah, that is one of the most Genuinely reprehensible the answers worst. you could have given. I that is disgusting. That's, I'm so grossed out yeah, right now. It's so putrid. <laughs> Ed, do me a favor. Awful. Go ahead and open that package on your desk. Huh? Go Hang ahead. on. Ugh. What is this? Huh? Hey, thanks so much for listening over the years. We're really happy with how things are going with 2.0, all the new assets, all the new art, all the, the, the new vibes. And we really hope that you enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it. But that's going to be in January. So let's think about right now. Thanks so much for listening. And here are some of the top supporters that made this show possible. Thank you, Alan Diver, Artavagin, Bjur, Bland But Funny, Boo Poo Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Cheese Dreams, Chris Chapman, Christian Van Engen, Dasul Burt, Delling City, Dog Named Bear, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Rocco the Raccoon, Smeet Mono, Spherical May, Teague, The Frost Ace, The Snacksalotl, Winnie Rab, and Will 9455. Seriously, thank you so much for the year. It's been fucking awesome. And also just... <laughs> There's been a lot of struggles here, but we made it through and we're going to keep going for 2024. So get ready for that. You're going to see more of it very, very soon. Have some happy holidays and we'll see you in PST 2.0.